Hey, welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to show you the importance of finding the anions and I'm going to show you also from the instructions given in your exam, you can tell a little bit about the clue to the things to look out for. So pay attention to the instructions that I'm going to mention later during the video. You'll be surprised, okay? So watch and learn. We end off last session telling you the importance of having solution. And why is that so? Because solution is the vital key to conducting the rest of all the different tests to find out the unknown. And most of the time, the unknown are happen or they appear in the form of salt. And what is a salt? Salt is made up of a cation and an anion. And today, our main focus is on the anion. Now, one portion of the anions test is to add an acid. And after which, we will test using a lime water. Most of the time, you will see this. Upon adding acid, effervescent E-F-F-E-R-V-E-S-C-E-N-C-E -E -E -E, was seen. Gas evolve, bubble through, lime water gives a white PPT. Therefore, I can conclude carbonate is present. Next, I also add an acid, but my acid is very specific. I'm adding nitric acid here, followed by silver nitrate. Upon adding HNO3, no visible reaction. When AGNO3 added, white PPT observed. And from here, we conclude chloride is present. Next, they also add nitrate acid. However, this time round, we add a barium nitrate, sometimes barium chloride. Observation, upon adding HNO3, no visible reaction. When barium nitrate added, white PPT observe. Sulfate present. Next, they add NaOH, sodium hydroxide, followed by aluminium foil. Upon adding NaOH, white PPT was observed. Sometimes you will see an observation of the color changes, sometimes you will not, but it's okay. Solution, when added aluminum foil and heated, gas evolve, turn, then red litmus paper blue. Nitrate is present. Well, over here, you can see and observe that adding acid is very common, at least for these three. Now, for this portion here, we can conclude that adding acid actually is a test for the presence of carbonate. Because when acid react with a metal carbonate, they will evolve carbon dioxide, which will give white PPT in the lime water. Therefore, carbonate is present. Now, you may be asking, then why do we add nitric acid here? I'm glad you asked. Well, the purpose of the nitric acid here is to remove any traces of carbonate that is formed maybe in the solution. That is why I wrote over here upon adding nitric acid, no visible change. Now, there are no visible change means no carbonate. That means no effervescence. 
However, if you see effervescent, you can safely conclude, or I should say that there's a possibility that carbonate is present. And because time is limited, I will just say effervescent observe. Gas evolved when tested with lime water gives a white precipitate if I do not have time to test for the gas. So this is the portion for this part here. But you must bear in mind, the nitrate acid is not the main deal. The main deal is silver nitrate and barium nitrate to test for chloride and sulfate. So you must remember the purpose of the acid here is to remove traces of carbonate. And if there's observation, you just write it down. Now, this part here is a little bit different. They add sodium hydroxide followed by aluminium foil. The purpose of it is to elevate ammonia gas, which is existence if there is nitrate acid, so that you can use this red litmus paper to test for ammonia gas. Now, if you are familiar with tests, you will notice that sodium hydroxide here is also a similar test for the presence of cation. So, when you add sodium hydroxide here, if you see any precipitate form, you can also use this to conclude what is the cation that is involved here. That is why I leave a blank here for you to fill in. Alright, so with this, these are four very specific individual tests for the anion carbonate, chloride, sulfate, and nitrate. So in exam, you feel if you're given one specific test, it tells you a lot. Just like for example, at your, uh, in your home, uh, you have four family members, one, two, three, four. Your sister loves durian, and the rest of us, the rest of you, don't like durian at all. And if you go home and you saw durian on the table, you can, you can say and you can conclude, hey, my sister is back home. Same thing in exam, if you see this specific instruction that was given and it is it boy it points to the test for sulfate it can give you a clue a very good clue to what is present in the solution as the anion so with this i hope this will help you in your gco level practical see you back for more Thank you so much for watching the entire video. Uh, there'll be more videos coming up to complete the entire six to eight steps. So watch out for this channel. If you like the video, remember to click like and please subscribe to our channel. And remember, tell more people about this, okay?